What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how Activision could make tons and tons of money and it's a really, really simple fix. Now, the reason that I'm making this video is because, and I know I'm a little bit late to the party, but I saw Drifter make his video about the supply drops that when, you know, the 2015 patent that Activision filed um, to have research done on a algorithm basically for matchmaking uh, or a matchmaking system, I know it's not just one mathematical equation but anyway basically if you guys didn't see his video uh, he basically talks about how in 2015 it was discovered that Activision filed a patent to have a team research a way where you can where they could implement a matchmaking system where if you don't purchase enough supply drops um, but you've looked at them or looked into supply drops then you'll be matched with people who have guns that you might have shown interest in and not only that but those people would be doing really well whereas other people were doing well worse uh, so basically you know if you purchase more supply drops uh, then you know they have the option of putting you in easier lobbies things like that it's a really long video and drifter does a really good uh, way of describing it so I encourage you guys to go watch the video because I don't have time to explain it nor could I probably do it as much justice as he could but the bottom line of it is that they have paid a company or a team of people to, to build a matchmaking system, at least on paper, uh, a way where, you know, m purchasing supply drops uh, is factored into matchmaking in, in such a way where it would be beneficial for the person to purchase more. And this like much of the community got my mind just going crazy like I couldn't believe uh, that I that this is a real thing right um, and part of me can because I, I did graduate with a, with a degree in business I understand the pressure of Activision Blizzard to continue to grow um, which won't happen mind you uh, that's not possible for a company to continuously grow unless your name is Enron in which case you are now no longer with us so that whole thing aside, and you know, if you guys don't know what Enron is, you can look it up, but basically Activision needs to continue turning a profit to make their shareholders happy. Uh, and I'm assuming that this patent that was filed for 2015 uh, was an attempt at looking into a way that, you know, hey, if we can get people who buy supply drops to have more fun in the game, um, maybe A, they'll buy more, or maybe B, it'll encourage the people who don't buy them to buy them in the first place, in which case we get more money, uh, and that's all that they ever care about. Uh, so I wanted to make this video um, and to basically teach Activision because clearly that they whoever their CEOs their head people um, and I mean this sincerely clearly they don't know how to really run business and I mean that and I know you think I'm an internet troll I know you think I'm I'm just I'm just some stupid kid sitting in his bedroom you've lost touch you've lost touch Activision has been around since 1980 I believe uh, they've made incredible games over the years but the last four-ish years have been just tragic. Your games have been shit despite making record-breaking revenues and profits. Uh, and I wanted to tell you guys how you can easily make more money. Make a good fucking game. Don't rely on RNG to make you money because that is cutting corners and that will not last. That will not last, I promise you. As soon as a matchmaking system like this, even the smallest hint, smallest hint of it, is found in, in games, people everywhere will never buy your product again. I guarantee. I guarantee you. Let's talk some numbers, because I'm sure at this point you're saying, Omniarch, I'm with you, but you're, you're, you're pretty much calling out these millionaires who run businesses. You're calling them out, you're saying that they're stupid, you're saying they don't know how to make money, even though they're running successful businesses. We need to hear some numbers. Okay, this is very simple. We're going to compare Activision, and I guess Activision Blizzard, um, to Riot Games. If you don't know who Riot Games are, they are a company that founded League of Legends. They were originally an indie developer, they now are a massive company. Okay, we're going to look. Riot Games revenue for 2015 was $1.6 billion. And I only did a little bit of research, this was really easy, it took me 5 minutes. Activision's portion of Activision Blizzard, Activision's contribution to their revenue in 2016, which, you know, we're kind of comparing two different years, but like I said, this was 5 minutes of research, super easy to do was 2.24 billion dollars 
so we're looking at riot games who made who had a revenue of 1.6 billion and we're looking at activision who had a revenue of 2.24 billion riot games has 71.4 percent of your revenue and they have one game they have one game activision has call of duty they have destiny and they have skylanders three super super successful ips they're super successful all three of them and that's not to mention all the other games that activision makes right those are just three huge ones they're huge riot has one and what's the difference what's the difference riot games has a free to play model omniarch how are they making money people choose to spend money on league of legends willingly because it's a a good game and b because they can buy what they want to buy and there's no rng involved if you want to spend money in league of legends you get to choose which characters you want to purchase you get to choose which skins you want to purchase and you get to choose a plethora of other things that you'd like to buy but at no point uh, are you pulling a virtual slot machine hoping that you get the skin that you want and they easily could do this they have millions of active players they could easily put in a supply drop system but they don't you want to know why because they have a good game that people like to play they get excited to play league of legends and they support it because they like the game because it's fun and if they want to spend five dollars they can spend five dollars if they want to spend five thousand dollars they can spend five thousand dollars it doesn't matter but what matters is that when they decide to spend the money when they decide to swipe their credit card virtually of course uh, they get to choose what they want to buy and that sounds insane that I have to even say this because no matter what store you go into in any mall across the world if you walk in there and you want a red t-shirt you don't have to pull a fucking slot machine and hope that it comes out red you get to walk in and say I want this red shirt and you buy it and you leave and riot has that same duh, most basic fucking formula of business ever you go to the store and you buy the fucking skin you want and you're done. You're done. And what does Activision decide to do? Activision puts it behind supply drops, okay? And you have to pull the slot machine hoping that you get the gun that you want or that you get whatever the skin or the uh, fucking gesture or whatever it is hoping and praying and some people think this system's garbage and they boycott the game and don't buy it other people spend two thousand dollars hoping uh and they end up getting everything in the store uh and basically you're feeding off of those big whales which is something that that's a term that's actually coined for these usually pay to win games but obviously for this instance as well and that's how Activision is trying to make money. So Riot Games comparatively has almost three quarters of the revenue of Activision and Activision has at least three major game franchises out on the market, that being Call of Duty, Destiny and Skylanders, of course, right? And Riot Games has won. And the biggest difference is how they go about monetizing these games. And I don't need to repeat myself when I say you have to start the foundation of making money in the gaming industry is with a good game you cannot release a game like infinite warfare and expect to make the same money that you made on previous titles because you throw in extra extra dlc extra supply drops extra microtransactions extra rng you're not gonna do it and if you do do it it is not going to last and it will be at the cost of your company in the long run I promise you I promise you that is going to be your downfall and the fact that you've invested in a matchmaking system that will encourage people to spend more money on supply drops just goes to show that you are interested in nothing else but money uh, and I'm here to tell you that it's actually way easier than that you didn't have to spend that money on a, on a research and development team. And, and the irony is that you've actually wasted money when the answer has been right under your nose. What made Call of Duty successful in the first place? Was it supply drops? No. Was it DLC? No. It was that the game was fun and innovative. And that's what made you the money. And that's what made you a giant in this industry. Make a good fucking game. 
It's that easy. It's and of course I'm sitting here behind my desk, not someone who can code and not someone who is creative enough to come up with my own game, right? So I understand, of course, that it's not easy per se to just go, oh, just go make a good game, right? But what I'm saying is instead of investing money in a research and development team to develop a matchmaking system that would effectively destroy your company in the long run, you can invest that money in talent and creative people and people who, who have new, fresh indie ideas who can make fun, good games that don't have to be riddled with RNG supply drops that you can just buy out or play for free and support how you wish. Uh, so it just blows my mind and, and taking it even a step further, right? Because in the Activision Blizzard just combination, Blizzard actually brought in more revenue than Activision. And a huge portion of that was because of Overwatch. And Overwatch, of course, has supply drops. But you know what's in Overwatch's supply drops? Nothing pay to win. Nothing pay to win. You can get skins, you can get emblems, you can get spray paint tags, whatever, but there's no guns in there that will break the game. So even looking at another game that is under your own parent company, right, because Activision Blizzard, Activision has Call of Duty, Blizzard has Overwatch, even looking at the portion of your company that made more money than you, Using a model that's far more player friendly, you are continuing to focus on supply drops that are that are pay to win. Because we saw Black Ops 3 remove the guns that were pay to win, and then Infinite Warfare brought back variants in supply drops. And the whole point of this video is that I'm tired of hearing, well, they need to make money too, or they just need to please the shareholders. I understand that. I went to school for that. I know that. And and it still blows my mind that not only Activision but some of their fanboys think that this is all in an attempt it's as something they have to do. They have to do it. Games games only cost $60 and they they used to be affordable to make back in the day at a $60 price point, but now it costs millions and millions of dollars to make games like Destiny and they're still only selling them for $60. I get it. I get that. I really, really do. But you can't hide behind that forever and use that as your excuse to scam people and ruin, effectively ruin your company in the long run. Call of Duty is at its lowest point ever, and I honestly, I hope World War II is better, but I'm not getting my hopes up because it's been years now and the franchise is, has not shown too much promise. So. What I, I need you to take away from this video is that companies like Activision don't have to do that. Yes, they need to make money. Of course they need to make money. And yeah, they could just sell their game for more uh, and get backlash from the community. Of course, they want to keep them affordable so more people can play. But they don't have to make it pay to win. It's a cheap cutting corner shortcut way for them to get you addicted and get you to pay to win. It's bullshit. And in the long run, I promise you, this will be their downfall. I promise. I know. This is not a guess. I know that this is going to be the end of Activision if they don't get their shit together and realize that the only reason that they're in the position they're in is because they made good games in the past and got fans from those games and they've been milking them ever since with the past couple of years with all this supply drop bullshit, right? The research that they put in for this matchmaking system is appalling and just the fact that it's out there somewhere on paper or in a computer program somewhere in the planet, it's going to be implemented within the next couple of years. I guarantee. I guarantee you. Uh, I know this is going to happen. There's no way Activision went through all the trouble and money to find out this system only to patent it and protect the world from it. That way other people can't do it. There's no way. They did this so they could do it themselves. They did this for money. This will, and they're hoping, be in a future game that goes unnoticed or that they can still take advantage of in some way. It will be there. They will want to make money off of this project. They're not going to invest in this just to lose money. 
they will implement this somewhere maybe not call of duty maybe not destiny but it will be somewhere and when that day comes that opens the floodgates for the rest of the industry to copy them with similar systems that afford more fun gameplay to people who spend more money and there should be no no correlation between those two if you want to have more fun with the game you can buy the dlc let me just make that clear i'm not against dlc i love dlc but it's got to be done right do it like the witcher did it oh the witcher what game is that oh only one that won hundreds of awards oh only one of the greatest fucking games in the last few years oh that's only a commercial success why would we fucking copy them like it's so simple it's so simple the most profitable companies and the most profitable games of late have been games that are good just make a good game just focus on making a good game it's like I don't why do I have to tell a game company to focus on making a fucking good game holy shit it's insane anyway anyway thank you guys so much for watching I do apologize for cursing so much but I'm just furious that this even exists uh, and it's it's just so funny that it's like the answer to their problem is been, is right under the nose and they're just so blinded by greed uh, that they they can't see it so anyway Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I want to hear your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Do you think uh, I'm right or do you think I'm wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. And either way, if you love the video, like it. If you hated it, dislike it. Uh, either way, I really would appreciate that. Uh, and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And that's about it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been OmniArc, and I'll talk to you guys again later. Peace.